Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Sauce Orchestrate to run a native mobile Appium test for up to 70% faster. I'll show you the entire setup and we'll get our very first suite of automated tests running. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. So let's go ahead and get started and run our very first suite of automated mobile tests using Sauce Orchestrate. The very first thing that you're gonna need is a Docker Hub account. So head over to this URL here and create a free Docker Hub account. The next thing that you're gonna need is a repo. So go ahead and create a repo if you don't already have one. As you see, I've created Nikolai's repo. And then the other information that you're gonna need from here is your username. And you'll also need to generate an API key that we're gonna to use to log into Docker Hub. If you don't already have one, you're gonna need a Sauce Labs account to be able to use Sauce Labs to test orchestration. So head over to this URL here and sign up for your free 28 day trial. We're gonna be testing a native mobile application here and we have a number of native mobile demo applications that can be found at this URL here. These are our dummy applications that you can use for your testing purposes. You can come over here to releases and download any version of the application that you want anything from Android all the way to iOS. Once you've downloaded one of those applications, you can come over and log in into your Sauce Labs account, head over to App Management, and simply drag and drop your files into here. As you see, I have an iOS and an Android native mobile application in my repository. And finally, we're gonna be using this source repository here that already has a bunch of automated native mobile tests that we can use in order to give Sauce Host a test orchestration a try. So the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do is to clone this repository. Next, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to the repository root. Afterwards, you're going to wanna to fetch the pull request that has all the code that's relevant to this demo. And finally, you're gonna create a new branch called pull request. Next, we're going to want to save a few environment variables so that we can use Sauce Host to test orchestration. First, we're going to export a Docker tag, which is basically a unique way to identify the code that we have in our repository compiled. And so here you can see we're supplying a Docker tag. You're supplying your username followed by the name of your repository. And then after the colon, you provide a tag that will be correlated to this source repository. And so I am providing the tag too. Next, you're gonna set your Docker username. Afterwards, you wanna export your API key. And finally, you're gonna to wanna to export an entry point. The entry point basically tells us where the Docker should start running our automated tests. So you can see it'll navigate to this repository here using our best practices. If you have a different repository, you can of course point it to the appropriate path. And then afterwards, you can see we are running this NPM command that's going to run our native mobile Android tests in our EU data center. If you have a different command, be sure to specify that there. Next, if you don't already have it installed, you're gonna wanna install source control. And then there are two important files to look at. For source control, there is this config.yaml that tells our automated test code exactly what to do. So we can provide it a name. I'm gonna call it mobile tests. We can supply a region. If you're in EU, you can use this one. And if you are in US, you can use US West. And then you can see some of the environment variables that we are passing in here inside of our config.yaml. And then the other file that's important to look at, which both of those are already existing with the code that you'll pull down, is this hosted execution Docker file. You'll see in here that we are copying a few folders. Uh, we're copying a Selenium JS folder. We're copying an Appium app folder and an Appium web folder. So this will allow us to run all of these automated tests using source control. If we wanted to run more, we can of course add those folders here and then those will be copied as well. And so after all of that exists, all we have to do is run source control and we'll see our automated native mobile tests executing.
At this point, we can come over to Sauce Labs in automated test results. Make sure that you select a real devices environment. If you're running native mobile tests, if you're running web tests, you can select the virtual devices. And here you're gonna see a queue of automated native mobile tests being executed across different Android devices. We can open up any of the tests to see logs on the left-hand side and a video on the right side that'll show us exactly what we're doing. And that's it. That's how you use Sauce Orchestrate to run automated native mobile tests for up to 70% faster. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us. We are always here to help. Mm -hmm.